also people out there who will try to abuse procedures and who will try to abuse the system if they can in order to let the election go their way. And the only way to counter that is by being at least as good as they are uh, in, no in knowing what can happen so that you can prevent that. The Liberal Caucus of Congressional Staffers to make this workshop possible. The FNF has always been an active partner in promoting good governance through capacity building activities. We're going to talk about campaign rules. The, uh, the misspelling is not uh, unintentional because sometimes it gets very painful to uh, um, basically enforce this rule. Fair warning, the COMELEC will be requesting members of uh, well, the voters to report these violations to us. We are setting up a system by which we can receive reports of violations from the general public, a system by which we can get those reports and act on them and proceed with uh, election offense cases as required. No election is perfect. Anywhere in the world, there is no election that is perfect. The ability to mitigate the problems no? through audit procedures, result, uh, audit of the results, audit of the system, having risk management in place. Poll watchers po kasi, sila ang priority in terms dun sa, in terms in every person. In, in no instances po, na pwede sila paalisin ng COMELEC or ng DEI. 80,000 no, out of the 10 million are registered and out of the 580,000, only 180,000 voted. So let's make it easy for them. No? Uh, technology is already here. No? This is the second time that we are holding the automated an automated election system and uh, we have the benefit of hindsight both as regard uh, both in relation to how the election should be managed and how civil society should react and how politicians should run their campaigns and 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 protect their vote so there should be improvement citizens right now have every right no, to participate no, in the election process uh, we're saying that because the elections, again, no, should not be in the hands no, of the politicians or even the people who provide the resources or the campaign funds. No. This is the future of our nation. This is the future of each and every Filipino. So it's incumbent upon each and every Filipino to put a stake no, and take back again the electoral process and bring it back into their own hands. No. As a liberal, it is my hope that the, in these coming 2013 elections, uh, the Filipino people would finally be empowered and they will be able to express that empowerment through their votes. And I'm also hoping that we can have uh, a good set of national and local leaders who will lead us to a better country.